Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, and welcome back. Uh, I've been criticized that I haven't been doing many videos. So this is the solution. As you can see, I'm not in a 911. I'm in a Mercedes. 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 I'm in a Mercedes-Benz ML. Uh, it's not my car. It's a car that I've been using. Um, hopefully this GoPro is set up okay. It looks like it is. So I'm just going for a bit of a drive to run a couple of errands. Uh, as you can see, you guys are probably laughing because it's probably the first time you see me on the left hand in a left hand drive vehicle. Uh, I'm pretty much used to it now. So it's Saturday here in Bahrain, Saturday afternoon. Um, I thought I'd just do this quick video. I'm about to record a podcast uh, at six o'clock my time, so four o'clock UK. Uh, I've got a guy from the UK lined up called Flat Cap, Flat Cap Driver. Um, Ajmal. Ajmal, I hope that's your pronounced it right because I haven't actually checked how to pronounce it, but I think it's Ajmal, Flat Cap Driver. I'm really looking forward to doing the Porsche. Uh, this is Porsche Cool Podcast if you don't know what I'm talking about. I have a podcast. Uh, it's on Apple, Spotify, Google, everywhere else. Everywhere, actually. Um, and I'm doing a podcast this afternoon with Ajmal. And Ajmal is really, really interesting. Uh, I came across his YouTube channel about a week ago. Um, and I reached out to him almost straight away. Uh, he didn't think I was some crazy person. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, I'll link it down below, so check it out and subscribe to his channel. He is a fellow 912 lover. lover. Uh, he's more committed to it than me, uh, because he's bought one. He also has the cheapest 911 in the UK that he bought. Um, he's got quite a few videos on his channel, I haven't watched all the videos yet. Like I said, I, I actually literally came across uh, his channel when I searched Porsche 912. Those of you who listen to the Porsche Cool podcast, know that I am uh, searching for a 912. Um, I still haven't found one. Well, I found some, but I haven't actually found one that I like the price of. Um, Ajmal did one, <laughs> did it very quickly. I'm not gonna give it away because I'm gonna talk about it in the podcast. Uh, it's Porsche Cool Stories podcast, which will come live on Tuesday. You'll be watching this video actually uh, on Sunday. I'm gonna put this up, well, you'll be watching it hopefully today when it comes out. Saturday today, I'm gonna put it up on Sunday. Um, but stay tuned for that podcast coming Tuesday. It's going to be a good one. Uh, and then I have another another uh, recording that I'm doing on on uh, Sunday night with Justin from Australia, and he's going to talk about his uh, Porsche story as well. So really, really great that you guys have reached out to me. Really, really great that we've got some great stories to tell. Um, you know, I love sharing the Porsche Cooled stories. I love uh, doing the Porsche Cooled podcast with Steve. Steve, as you know, is my mate in Sydney who's got the GT3. Uh, Steve doesn't like the limelight, but he's, uh, he's, he's really enjoying the podcast, so that's great. Thanks, Steve. I know you'll be watching this. Um, but anyway, I'm in Bahrain, but I just thought that was hilarious. So that first scene you just saw, um, there used to be a guy that owned a 911 Turbo in, in my building. Um, and when COVID started, just after COVID actually, so probably in April, I noticed the car was gone. Uh, the one I just filmed then leading up to my car, which I thought was quite hilarious because I was I was umming and ahhing whether to do this video today because I don't think you guys want to see me driving a Merc. I think you want to see me driving a Porsche. Uh, I want to talk about that actually, being a Porsche guy or a Mercedes guy or being a Ferrari guy. It's quite, uh, it made me think about it when I was, when I was planning this video today. Uh, well, planning it as in planning it in the five minutes before I left the house. Um, of course, when you do a video and you haven't done one in a while, I think, yeah, you know, all my GoPro batteries, I've charged them all. I'll get back to the Porsche story. Just stay with me. I'm, I'm back to it in a second. Um, but you go to pull out your cameras and all of these uh, batteries that you've charged are dead. Um, so that's the worst part about it. They're all dead. Um, I don't know if I'm still recording. I'm going to have to stop and I'm going to have to check this. Okay, guys. I'm back. This is the fun of uh, recording after you haven't done it for a while, you seem to forget the basics. Video recording, that is. Um, so what I was talking about is, yeah, apart from my gear all messing up and no battery charge and whatever and trying to do this video quickly before I record the podcast this evening, um, I was walking out just then and the guy in, the, in that turbo, that 911 white turbo, there used to be one in the building. 
and I thought that was quite hilarious. Here I am about to shoot a video talking why I would never buy a Merc and how I miss my Porsche and just going on a drive and having a chat with you guys and then I walk out and there's the uh, there's the opening scene for my video. It's like thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm sure I didn't fool any of you guys and I'm sure you realized it wasn't mine. Um, I wish it was mine because it looks fantastic um, but it's not mine. Um, but man, every time I see a 911 here I just think it'd be so cool to drive one especially on days like today uh, where there's not a lot of traffic. Um, I've only got one mount, so I haven't got, I'm not giving you the view outside the building, outside the building, outside the car, um, but at least we get to chat anyway. Um, yeah, I was thinking about this, the Mercedes Benz, you know, like, I don't know, maybe late 90s, I had this bit of a phase that I thought, you know, I wanted a Merc, uh, and I used to look at them and think I wanted one. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think about it now, and I think, you know, there's not really anything in the Mercedes Benz range. Uh, that appeals to me. Maybe except the old CLK 63 Black Series. I like the look. I like those at the time. I know they're very expensive still today. Um, it's a TT next to me. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Or the um, AMG GT. Whether it be the GTS, GT, AMG TS or GTC. Um, GTC because it's got the wider body. But I'm not going to talk about, it's not really a Merc review, I'm not going to talk about Mercs, but it's just weird how you get associated with a certain brand, you know, like, I always knew Porsche was a good fit for me, I always knew it was a car brand that I would like, and I guess, you know, I've owned Fords, I've owned Peugeots, I've owned Audis, um, I haven't actually owned a lot of cars, I really haven't owned a lot of cars, I've driven a lot of different cars over the years, whether it be rentals or company cars, but I haven't actually owned a lot of cars. Um, you know, and I knew as soon as I bought the Porsche. Uh, in fact, I knew as soon as I got into Steve's Porsche, you know, way back in whatever year it was, 2002, 2003, when he had his 964. Um, and I knew then that, you know, I knew that I wanted a Porsche. It took me, honestly, it took me way too long to get one. Um, and my advice to anyone looking today is, is if you want a 911, um, don't wait. If you find one and you find one at a good price, don't wait. And this is why I really, um, I really put my hands in the air for um, Ajmal on uh, Flat Cap Driver on YouTube, uh, who's the guy I'm doing the podcast with, as I said. He, he bought a 912. And like I said, I'm not going to give the story away now because I want you to listen to the podcast and hear what Ajmal has to say, but he bought it with really a lot of thinking. And I wish I could do that, and I try to do it. I really do try to do it. And it's not like I don't have the means to do it, it's just that I always think, you know, what if, what if, what if. Um, and there's a couple of 912s I want at the moment. I'm still lusting after the one in Sydney. Uh, I lust after the one in Sydney because it's in San Beige, which I like. Uh, it's also easier process because it is in Sydney. I worked out the price. Honestly, the way that 912s are increasing in value, it's not really that much more expensive. Um, I like how when things are not so easy, there's not a lot, not a lot of paperwork and not a lot of messing around. It's not that I can't do it, I just get bored with it. Um, and I know there's a lot, you know, most people that it's very hard to get information from people and people don't follow up. And I've heard nightmare stories of people shipping cars to Australia, you know, which take a long time and then they get held up in customs for long, for even longer times and, and all this, you know. I mean, if I find a perfect 912 in the US and it, and it has to be, then it has to be. But I do like the idea of buying one in Australia better. I still think about the one in the UK, and there is an orange one for sale in the UK. The green one that I spoke about in the last podcast at European Collectibles in LA, in LA, yeah, uh, it was, um, it's sold already. That was 63,500 US. It would have been a good one, but it's sold. And this is the thing with 912s, you can't wait. You can't wait. Um, I've started looking at 356s, and I'm really trying to stop myself because now I start to see the appeal of them. I never thought I'd want a 356 because they're so old. But I think a 64 356C, which aren't too expensive. You know, there's one at Beverly Hills Car Club for 65. One just sold on Bring a Trailer last night, which was a beautiful example, a red one. Uh, you do U-turns here, a lot of U-turns. Um, that was 70, it sold for 75,000. But it was a really good seller that sold it. This guy called 911R, who's a great seller on um, Bring a Trailer, who gets lots of great Porsches. Uh, a bit like the other guy, I think it's Tarek, is also a really good seller for Porsches on, on Bring a Trailer. So I guess 
I guess the thing for me is the fun is is that I get to I'm learning as it goes along and you know I like Porsche cooled stories and doing that because and even talking to Steve you know I, I learned things along the way that I hadn't thought about um, I'm learning more about the 912 I'm learning more about classic 911s I'll be honest I didn't know much about classic 911s um, I knew about the 87 89 Carrera and get a G50 I knew about the 964 I don't know much about G series I don't know much about 70s 911s you know I know now that you know 970 911s is a really good one to get apparently the 73 and a half T is a really good one to get you know the more you watch other people the more you listen to other people the more you research the more you find out and that's what I enjoy about this whole Porsche thing you know I enjoy chatting um, you know and James at Auto Amateur did a shout out to me yesterday in his podcast so you should listen to that I'll put the link down below as well and you know like I don't think I'm doing anything special on this channel or on the podcast I'm just talking about Porsche I'm just it's a hobby that I enjoy doing it's something outside of work it's a stress relief it's you know it's fun I find it I find it fun and I've met I'm, I'm starting to meet some really great people I met you know Nick who I class as a friend in the UK Ajmal who I'm just started to talk to you know and lots of other people that send me messages through Porsche cooled Instagram you know lots of other people there's so many people and YouTube and I have to admit, you know, all of these social channels, all of these means that I'm that I'm doing now with the podcast, it's starting get to get to the point where it's there's a lot, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of work just to, and I like to respond to people and talk to people, and it takes a long while, a lot of time to get it done. And and you know, doing two podcasts, two Porsche podcasts in one week, it, it takes a long time because the editing alone, and I I edit the video, edit the, the podcast, the audio. I don't just put them straight up. Um, and I know there's been some audio issues in the last couple of weeks, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to work out what it is. The problem is that with my podcast, and because I'm you know, doing it remotely, and I'm doing it with Zoom, you know, it really is, um, it really is limitations. There's limitations with the sound. Uh, I'm in the wrong lane. There's limitations with the sound. This is what happens when you're filming and not concentrating. There's limitations with the sound, the audio quality, um, I hope the ones coming up in the next two days are going to be... I'm having equipment issues. But anyway, what I was saying is I hope that the, the next podcast that are coming up are actually good audio for you guys. Um, I love doing them. Uh, it's good to have a chat today. Like I said, just a quick chat. Um, next time I, I hopefully, you know, hopefully I can get back to Australia soon and we can do these videos in a 9, 911, 997. Um, but I will do more videos in the car. It's kind of cool driving around. Next time I'll try and I don't have another suction cup so I can't do an outside view for you but I'll try and find one here. Not so easy but I'll try and find one so you can actually see the view. Um, but that's about it. I think uh, I'll end it there because my battery's about to die. Uh, it's been great talking to you guys. If you haven't followed Porsche Cooled, I'll put the link down below. Porsche Cooled Podcast, Porsche Cooled Instagram. You guys know my other Instagram, Michael michael.bath and p997.1. Uh, but thanks for watching today. Bye for now.